Good morning, church. I'm excited to talk to you today. Uh, we're actually in my neighborhood this morning uh, with Gil Hidalgo, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the MLK uh, Day of Service, our annual food drive for the Second Harvest Food Bank. Today, Gil's going to share a little bit of his own story about how the food drive has impacted his life, and I'm really looking forward to hearing from it. So, uh, Gil, tell us a little bit about the food well, thank drive. You. Thank you, Bill. Um, well, about um, when when the Martin Luther King food drive started, I always made excuses that, you know, I, I, I work 50 to 60 hours a week. I travel 100 days a, a year. I always left it to somebody else to pick up my slack. Uh, I didn't feel like I wanted to be part of it. Uh, one Saturday, Anakin invited me to come over and help him pick up the bags that he had canvassed his neighborhood. So I went and helped him, and I realized the impact and, uh, and the victory that there was and the feeling of you're helping somebody. And uh, thanks to Anakin, I, I was able to experience that. I said, this is never going to happen again. I, I changed. I repented from my laziness and slacking on, on, on helping the, the needy. The next year, I made a plan and I posted on, uh, on uh, the next door app in my neighborhood that I was going to go and canvas the neighborhood. I'd let all my neighbors know that I was coming. After all my hard work, the first year that I did it, I got four bags. So that would be enough to discourage anyone. I did it again the next year, same way. I put it on uh, the next door app and I doubled it to mm -hmm. about eight bags. Yeah. And I said, okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. So then the following year I did it again and I got almost 18 bags. And that was like, yep, okay, now I think I got my neighbor's attention. Last year, I canvassed my neighborhood and I canvassed the neighborhood next door. Then I recruited Sebastian from the campus to help me canvass both neighborhoods. And next thing you know, I had 28 bags between both neighborhoods. My truck was full. Wow. I, I, it was so full that I had a hard time putting everything in my truck. And it's not a small truck. And I was blown away. Um, not only that, the next morning on Sunday, I had people knocking on my door that they forgot to put the food outside and they brought it to my house because on the paper that I put on my bags, I put my address and my name, that way they know I'm a real person. And they actually came to my house and they dropped more food. Wow. I feel that my repentance was blessed. I look forward to the Martin Luther King food drive every year. Wow. That's amazing. And, and it, you know, one of the things that's incredible is how serving others helps our own heart. We don't know who we're actually helping when we give to the food drive. Uh, last year, we actually had members of our church who were blessed by the Second Harvest mm -hmm. Food Bank. So we, we could be helping even our own friends, family, and, and brothers and sisters in Christ uh, through giving. We know uh, that this year, as it is every year, our food drive is going to be an incredible victory. It's an opportunity uh, for us and our neighbors to participate in the ministry of Jesus. And uh, on the screen and in your email, you'll get information on the flyer that Gil was talking about. Uh, you'll get a copy that you can uh, customize to yourself. This year, we're also adding a virtual aspect to it. And so, Watch your uh, inbox in your email uh, for instructions on how your friends, family, neighbors, they don't even have to live here in Orlando, can participate in the Second Harvest Food Drive. Thank you so much, church, for your support. We're so grateful for your heart to serve. God bless.